Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and there's something special about hopping in an airplane that was built in 1940. It has no electrical system, no frills, it's just you, an engine, some wood, and some fabric. You hear this term stick and rudder skills, but what does it really mean? When you step back in time and enter into a J3 Piper Cub, you understand what stick and rudder skills are awfully quickly. And I'm a tailwheel endorsed pilot, but the last time I flew a tailwheel aircraft was about six years ago. So this is a great chance for you to see myself getting the rust off a little bit as I enter back into some tailwheel flying with my very good friend, Jamie Beckett, who is the AOPA Learn to Fly Ambassador. We're going to get out on the runway just as we've been taxiing around. We're going to get on the center line. Yes. We're going to go full throttle, neutral stick. Okay. We're not going to force the tail up, but we're going to let it build some ta some speed so the tail will come up. Okay. As soon as that tail starts coming up, you can see much better out front. Okay. And you're basically just going to let the speed build up a little bit and apply the tiniest bit of back pressure. Interesting. Uh, okay. This wing, if you see that angle of the wing against the horizon, that's way more than a climb. Okay. So it's really going to be a fairly flat attitude as we climb out, and from that point on, you're fine. Okay, interesting. Go ahead and give it a shot. We've got a cub on down with the cub. Yep. Left down We're just as fast. Down. Yeah, that sounds good. You make the call, and here we go. All right. You got radios? You want me to get radios? You've got them. All right, who are we? We're just, I just say cub. Piper Cub. Okay. And we're having traffic paper cups to party in runway 5 at Bravo. Uh, we're there All we right. go. Off the brakes. Nice looking cup. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Yeah, mine's a legend. A old legend cup. Now, do you want um, door closed or open? I like, I like the breeze. This is Florida. Okay. This is, by the way, your stall indicator. This yeah, I, I see that happen in the seaplane. There you go. Okay, just get yourself out on that center line, get yourself straight, yep. then advance the throttle. Yep, gotcha. All right, stick is neutral. I'm feeling good on the center line. You ready? I'm ready to go, yeah, boss. Let's smoothly applying some full power here. And just whatever you need on the rudders. Yep. It's going to wobble around a little bit. Woo! Get that. There you go. There we go. Okay. And now you build up speed, you can get into ground effect. Nice. And you're up. Nice. That's about your, your attitude right there. You're, you're just a tad slow right now, but that's okay. I'll lower that nose a hair. You're looking, now you're a little fast, and you're doing good. All right. But we're climbing. Yeah, we, we got a whopping 150 feet a minute. Oh, she's, she's a champion. Now we're up to 200 now. We're set. And you may want to extend this for that, and we'll get yeah. that attitude. All right, okay, gotcha. 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 Wow. It's an amazing thing, isn't it? This, awesome. this level of simplicity takes a lot of thought. Oh, it really does. And you have to feel it. Yes. Now, you'll notice you got a big whop at 2250 on the RPM. Yeah, that's full power, man, though. That's it. And okay. we've got that wood prop, not the most efficient thing in the world. Yeah. We're, we're off the end of the runway now at 300 feet. Wow. So we're 150 AGL. Wow. Let's extend a little bit here and just keep that... Okay. That attitude up a little bit. You got it? Jason, you're doing beautifully. Thank you, my friend. That takeoff, though, getting kind of wobbly like that, it makes you... It, that's just how it goes, though, huh? It really is. You know, we have that mindset from being tricycle gear pilots yeah. that it's going to track straight. This isn't. This is going to go anywhere it wants to go. Wow. Hey, go ahead. Let's make that left turn now. All right. Head where Haven. Cup turn left cross run five where Haven. All right. Coming on around. And you'll notice with two of us in the plane on a warm day, yeah. we're not, we're not going to get to a thousand. No. Feet. No. I mean, it's just us and the other cub in the pattern. You okay just doing it lower, like six or seven hundred? Yeah. I'm just going to pull your nose up a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no traffic. I'm keeping it tight. Is that okay? Yep. Absolutely. You don't want to be far away in an airplane with this much yeah. drag and this little altitude. Right. If something were to happen now, we could probably make the field. Sure. But sure. we want to make that as possible as sure. possible. You want the snows a little higher? Are you okay? Yeah, right around there is where we want to look. Okay. It's a lot of looking outside. Like, I don't know. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, really, you don't have an attitude indicator. Oh, right. You can't see the airspeed indicator. I'm looking out the right side. See that angle of the wing yeah. above the horizon? 
Jason? Yeah. That's about what you want. Okay, sounds great. You're looking beautiful. You're you're up to 650 feet. Sounds great. I'll make another call. We're here. The Cub is uh, left down with five. We're here. All right. You want me to drive, bring the throttle back a little bit? Or yeah, come back. To, we'll pretend we're at cruise here. We're at okay. 700 feet. Come back to 2150. You got it. I'm going to move my hand so you can actually yeah. see us. It's too ask. And you'll notice it's not a linear throttle. You move it a lot. Wow, there's a lot of throw to it. Yep, in the in the lower ranges, it really picks up quick. But wow, you're doing beautifully. We're in a nice spot. The big okay. thing we want to watch is as we come around to land, we're going to have a lot of drag. So okay. we are going to reduce power, but we've also got a lake here. Yes. We don't want to be two miles away on no. final. No, you're right. So we're swimming. If it's we're going to stay within the confines of this lake for okay. the entire thing. Sounds great. And I will give you a car beat when we're beam the numbers because right. if, you're, if you're solo, you do that with your foot. Wow, really? Yep, you reach up with your right foot and grab it. Wow, that's funny. All right, we're beam our touchdown point. You want a little power back as well. Start that slow descent down. Car beats on. Yeah, I'll bring a little bit of power back. I'd bring a bunch back. I'd a get bunch? that to about 15. Okay. And go ahead and turn pretty quickly. You want to stay over this lake. You got it. Keep that bank in. You don't want to get yeah. crazy, but you want to get it around. Yeah, I understand. Now, the great thing is, because you've got so much drag, yeah. I don't really care what your speed is on final. True. If it's up to 80, as soon as you power back and level off, it's going to bleed out of there. Yeah. So you're looking great right now. All right. Just great. I'm bringing some more power back and turn it. Okay, we're having the final five right here. Nice. Now, when we get into land, you don't want to put it on the mains and hold back like normal. You want to yes. get yourself down on final, get yourself down and flare. A little bit of nose down here. A little more nose down. Yep. You want to get down and flare and just keep that nose coming smoothly back. Right. Real nice and smooth. Yep. Keep coming, keep coming. There you go. All the way back on the stick. Wow. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! I'll help you with brakes and we'll yeah. slow it down here. Now, that feels like a wild ride. Is that a normal no landing? No, that's a little... That's a little S turny. Oh. But you'll notice we're at the first turnoff. Yeah. We use less than 500 feet. And that's your first time doing this. Yeah. You can put this down on a football field when you get good. Wow. At it. You've got the airplane. I've got the airplane, man. Dave, this will make you a better pilot. Oh, absolutely, because you have to think about everything. Oh. We've got pretty calm wind here. Yeah. If we had even a three knot crosswind, we'd really have to bank into that wind and put it down on one wheel and yeah. be thinking. Wow. It, uh, it's, we go back to that, I mean, I can call it a quick. Waterhaven comes clear, five Waterhaven. You want to go one yeah, more? Yeah, let's do another one. Um, just the, the finesse, the, we, we hear about stick and rudder skills, but I don't think people really realize what that means. Oh, they get out here and do something like this. This is an amazing experience because it's deceptively simple. Yes. I don't have any systems, you're not playing yeah. with any good ads yeah. on the panel. You don't have to reset the cockpit or anything. All we do is shut the car beat off. Wow. Good. Wow. But your feet and your hands are Man. always moving. You have to be thinking about what's my power setting. Yeah. How am I lined up? Because if I'm just a little bit crooked in a tricycle gear, yeah. it'll snap straight for me. Yeah. If I'm a little bit crooked in this, ground loop. I'm going over there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You did great, though. Thank you. Now, there is another type of landing. If you want to, we can do it on this time around called a wheel landing. Yes, I've heard of that. Wheel landing is if you've got a bit of a crosswind yeah. and I need more control than yeah. the full stall landing is going to give me. We're gonna we're gonna get down into that flare, and we're gonna bump just a little bit of power. Yeah. As soon as a piece of rubber touches, we pull that power off, but stick forward. Interesting. We keep that tail up to dissipate every bit of energy we can. So yeah. we're pushing the stick forward. Yeah. When the tail finally hits, our stick is all the way forward. We transition it back, and we just maintain directional control. Wow. It's it's great. It's the coolest thing. That is awesome. But it does give you more control of the aircraft as it's rolling out. Yeah. And as you can imagine from that, if you've got just a little bit of crosswind. Yeah. Oh, you, man. This is this is a fair weather flying airplane. You can't have three knots of crosswind throws off the whole game. Well, you know, that's exactly true with this. This is a great 
morning and evening airplane. Yeah. If it's 90 degrees with seven knots of wind, yeah. this is a miserable thing to be in. Yeah. And, I, and I don't mean that it's a bad airplane. Sure. It's just getting tossed around a lot. It's not fun. It's work. Yeah, I get it. But at these times, it's wonderful because you're really feeling the airplane. Yeah. I'll wow. let you make the call and get us out on the runway again. Cool. That sounds great. And keep that stick all the way back you all the time. You got it. I certainly wouldn't call that my prettiest landing, and it's not one I'd want to share with friends, although I'm happy to share it with you all because, oh, good pilots always learn, and that's what we do. We learn from our mistakes. We share things like this, and I share challenges with you like this so you can go out and get some tailwheel flying and realize how it's going to better you in the long run as a pilot. You can also see how six years ago I was a proficient tailwheel pilot. You can see what six years does, even though I was flying almost every single day throughout that six-year period, but flying tricycle gear aircraft. You can see these little differences, how the rust compounds. You can see the differences between currency, proficiency, these terms we always talk about so much. So this year, what are some of your ways that you're going to challenge yourself in aviation? Is it getting a written a knowledge test done? Is it getting a check ride done? Is it getting the tailwheel complex high performance endorsement? And then what are your plans to keep up with it? It's one thing to become a tailwheel pilot. It's another thing to stay proficient with it as well. We're going to have another great video, kind of part two of this coming out here soon, where you think that landing was interesting. Just wait till the next traffic pattern, the next landing as well, as Jamie teaches me wheel landings. But that'll be in the next video, so be watching for that. Enjoy the rest of your day, and most importantly, remember, that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Pass your check ride or I'll pay for it. Join our number one rated online ground school and participate in live mock check rides and interactive written test prep. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more.